Edelman. It's Interrupting daughter, huh? Hi, it's Mrs. Edelman. I am here with my daughters, Sophie and Hannah. And we knew somebody who had some chickens. So we are going to have a chicken story time. The chickens' names are Fishy, Brownie, and Splat. Fishy is the white one, and Brownie and Splat are the brown ones. We're going to read you the book, Interrupting Chicken, by David Ezra Stein. Interrupting Chicken, by David Ezra Stein. It was bedtime for the little red chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you all ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read you one of your favorites. And of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Yes. Oh no, Papa, I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, what lovely children, why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when, out jumped a little red chicken and she said, don't go in, she's a witch. So Hansel and Gretel didn't, the end. Chicken, yes, Papa, you interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother, but don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her, good morning. She was about to answer him when, do you think the chicken is gonna interrupt again? Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, don't talk to strangers. So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa? You did it again. You interrupted two stories, and you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry, but he was a mean old wolf. Yes, now let's get back into bed. Okay, Papa, let's try one more little story, and I'll be good. No. about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm that the sky was falling when out jumped a little red chicken and she said, don't panic. It was just an acorn. So Chicken Little did it. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa. You did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please, read one more story and I promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we are out of stories. Oh no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. Then, said Papa yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me tell a story, said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. 
um, Bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all What happened? He fell asleep. Papa? He fell asleep. <laughs> Good night, Papa. The end. That story was The Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. And these chickens didn't interrupt at all. They were such good listeners. Except the ghost part of it. Should we go meet them? Yeah. So here are the chickens. Fishy is the white one, and then we have Brownie and Splat are the brown ones. And they eat chicken feed, and they also eat fruits and vegetables. They lay eggs in the morning. Aren't they cute? I like the noise they make. We're gonna open up the coop so that we can meet them a little closer and watch them run around. Usually we get one or two a day, so you might have some right in here in the nest. Do you I see like any? That. There you go. Right there, Mommy, there's something there. Wow, let's go look. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness. Ah! He's there, coming out. Yeah, He's coming come right out. He's coming. You can pick her up if you want. She'll jump up. Hey, ladies. <laughs> she's friendly. They kind of have dirty feet. <laughs> but they're nice and soft. <laughs> you can move around a little bit. Oh, you can. Go by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what they do. You can feed them a little grass if you like. Sometimes they'll nibble off your hand. Usually they like to peck around though. Like they're doing? Mm-hmm, exactly, that's what they do. I stole the eggs, they're in my pockets. No. <laughs> they are, they're right here. <laughs> then we can make food with them. We can make eggs in the morning for breakfast. Do you like scrambled eggs? No. No! <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to eat the book. Oh my! It was such a good story. <laughs> Wants to beat the chickens in the story. <laughs> oh, look! She's crossing over there. Mommy, let's show them the other side of the coop. Well, the, the chickens are on this side. All the chickens are together. Buck, 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 buck. Mommy, that one's pecking. Mm-hmm. Peck, peck, peck. That one's digging with his feet. See, he's digging with his feet. Why'd the chicken cross the road? I, I forgot. To get to the other side. Uh, why did the egg cross the road? Why'd the egg cross the road? Yeah. Why? Because it was thankful to the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> because it was stapled to the chicken. You're funny. She was almost gonna peck me. Hello. <laughs> 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 He's gonna beg his bottom. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <he's> gonna... <laughs>
Well, it was very nice to have a chicken story time. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.